All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rokakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to you, brothers that are laboring and pushing this word in truth and sincerity and with charity. I am the brother Abraham from the camp here in GMS Chicago. Coming to do another quick lesson through the Holy Spirit. Lord willing to be edifying. And uh, just want to do a video on um, recent uh, judgment that happened on Migos rapper Takeoff, who was shot and killed. All right, uh, this morning on Tuesday. All right. Um, it's, it's pretty much the. The big news going around, uh, you know, the hip hop world, things of that sort. And ultimately, it's a judgment from the Heavenly Father. Okay. The scriptures say that judgment uh, will begin in the house of Israel. Okay. Because uh, his people, the Israelites, so called Negro, so called Latino, so called Native American, are. Set to do evil. Okay. Um, they're in a position. Where. Where they have following. Okay. Where. All these rappers. All these musicians. Everybody in the industry. Whether it's the music industry. In Hollywood. Alright. And, and NBA. NFL. All these uh, athletic associations, all right, know the truth, have heard the truth, all right. Um, but yet, the scriptures say, He that knows to do good and doeth it not, it is a sin, okay. The scriptures say, To let your lights shine before men, all right. So, these rappers. Instead of uh, pushing the gospel, instead of pushing the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay, instead of telling uh, the lost sheep of the house of Israel that they're Israelites to return to the Lord, all right, um, they do the opposite, okay, they rap about uh, killing, shooting, doing drugs, smoking weed. Committing adultery with another man's woman. Okay. And this is the vibration that is set. On the people. And art imitates life. Okay. And this is why. The generation. Of today. And the generation that is being brought up. Is. Is uh, the way they are. Because. Uh, it's a psychological. Warfare that is being targeted on the Israelites. All right, you, you destroy the people morally. Okay. And then that's how you destroy a nation. And that is exactly how our people are destroyed. Okay. Let's get uh, Jeremiah 4. And 22. Jeremiah 4 and 22. It says, For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children. And they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil. But to do good, they have no knowledge. And that is exactly how our people are. Foolish. Or are sottish. No understanding. All right, why to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge, man. All right? Why do you think this is happening to um, these rappers? All right? Let's get... Um, Job 4 and 8, even as I have seen... They that plow iniquity and sow wickedness, 
reap the same. So you reap what you sow. And this is exactly um, what these rappers sow. is wickedness, destruction, death. Right? This, that's what they promote. This is what they rap about. Okay? They rap about killing people. They rap about uh, shooting people. They rap about having these guns and doing this and doing that, slugging coke and smoking weed, selling this, selling that. 250 rappers that died in 2021. Alright, uh, 200 rappers that died in 2020. Alright, so that's how much... In two years, four fifty rappers from twenty 2020 twenty to twenty twenty one, and we haven't even counted twenty twenty two. All right, and there's and here's a video of twenty seven rappers who died in twenty twenty two, and that was five months ago. We're already almost towards the end of the year. That's about. 500 estimate. Okay. That died. Rappers that have died in the past three years. Okay. And this is a judgment from the Heavenly Father. Okay. Amos 3 and verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people be not afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord hath not done it? Alright. So if there be evil in the city... The, but the Lord wasn't was uh it was the Lord's doing. All right, not to mention that, the Halloween um Halloween stampede. Can't really see what's going on, but more than 140 dead and tragic say, oh, Halloween stampede. 149 killed. All right. <laughs> and that wicked holiday fell on the Sabbath, man. All right, which all these wicked... um. Hollow days uh, on the left hand side have been falling on the Sabbath, man. Okay, it's a it's a mockery to the Lord. All right, let's get more precepts on, on this judgment. Okay, and this is uh, Isaiah forty five and seven. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Okay? So the Most High is in charge of it all. Let's see. I think... Um, Zephaniah, chapter 3 and verse 5. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. All right, so the Lord is in the midst of all of it, everything that's going on. It says he will not do iniquity. And every morning he brings his judgment to light. What happened this morning was a judgment from the Heavenly Father. Okay. All these people that be promoting this drill music, right? That makes, ultimately, makes our people go off, okay? Which has blood on their hands, man. 
right? That's blood on their hands. And what, meanwhile, what the prophets are doing is wiping the blood off our hands. All right. Now, because let's get this right. In the Gospels, what Yahweh Shai said. Okay, this is uh, Luke 13. Luke 13 and 1. There were present at that season... Some that told him of the Galileans, whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And Yahawashai answered and said unto them, Suppose ye that though that these Galatians were sinners above all the Galileans, because they suffered such things. So they came to Yahawashai like, you heard what happened to these Galileans? You know, the way they died, they must have been... Uh, they must have been the top sinners of, of all the way they died. Right? This is what Yahweh Shai said. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. So, yeah, you might say, yeah, uh, these rappers might have been wicked, done wicked things, done some fucked up things, the way they've been dying, being shot and killed, like nothing. Over nothing, over a dice game. This man died literally over a dice game. You know, in the boondocks, when they talk about a nigga moment, that was a nigga moment. All right. And even here in um in our camp, man, a couple, couple of weeks ago, we were out and um was uh, also witness to another nigga moment. Where a nigga ended up shooting a security guard over nothing as well. Over nothing. Okay. So there's a lot of judgment going around, man. And it's a scary thing. Alright. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of living power. And this is what we've been... Um, the prophets have been saying for years. To this day, and will continue to keep saying it and warn you people about, right? Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of living power. Why do you think we do what we do? Because we fear the Lord. Why do you think we do these videos and go on to the highways and byways? Because we fear the Lord. Because we love the Lord. Because we don't want to perish. The way these people did. And are. Um, being judged the way they are. And we don't want to be part of the nuclear fire. The nuclear missiles that's destined to hit this place. Alright. We don't want to perish. With the two thirds. And with the other nations. With Esau. We don't want to perish with them man. Alright. Verse 4. Or those 18 upon whom the tower in Siloam fell and slew them. Think ye that they were sinners above all men that dwell in Jerusalem? I tell you nay, but except you repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Alright? And that's the message, man. If repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Alright? Most I commanded all men everywhere. To repent. Man. This is Isaiah 28 and 10. For precept must be upon precept. Precept upon precept. Line upon line. Line upon line. Here a little and there a little. And that's how the scriptures are broken down. Right, a little bit over here, a little bit over there, precept here, precept there. For with stammering lips and a, and another tongue will we speak to this people. 
to whom he said, This is the rest wherein ye may cause the weary to rest, and this is the refreshing, yet they would not hear. Okay, and our people just don't want to hear, right? Because it wasn't meant for them to hear. All right, there's an angel of the Lord that's blinding the eyes and the ears of this people that they do not understand or perceive this doctrine and this message. Okay, because it was just wasn't meant for them, okay? Skip this here. And, uh, Acts 17 and 30. And the times of this ignorance God winked at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent all right now it's just no excuse no more right now you got the whole thing with Kyrie, the whole thing with kanye west and all these rappers uh that know that they're israelites all right there's no excuse anymore you're gonna have to choose where you stand at some point all right we know where we stand Y'all are going to have to make a stand and choose where you stand. Because if you're not with the Lord, you're against the Lord. Okay. So with that, I'm going to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwatash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Until next time.